Now let's go into add on modules dynamic RF dynamic flow. We see that, but uh, we need to check uh, natural vibrations and mass combinations. Now we need to fill in certain values in these tabs. Go into mass cases. We have to define the masses which contribute to the seismic loads. So click. Uh, let's consider the self weight. We have considered the self weight as a load case. Therefore, we don't have to tick this. If we tick this, the program considers uh, the self weight twice. So click on this the load case as this one. Give it a name. Let's call it dead load self weight. Then add another load case as superimposed dead load. Name it as dead load superimposed. Click mass combinations. Click on these two and add it to consider for analysis. And then click on natural vibration cases. In, in here we see that a number of lowest eigenvalues to calculate this eigenvalue uh, analysis is done to give us the mode modes shapes as well as the time period so since we are not aware of the, uh, the behavior of the structure we can give a higher value like for example we can give a value of 10 or even higher but once we do the analysis, we can see that which modes contribute most uh, masses for earthquake loads. And then we have calculation parameters. Go into mass combination. Uh, select the mass combination that we just uh, created earlier. Click on OK and calculate. Now we can see that uh, the, the the natural period for the first mode corresponds to 0 0.844, second mode is 0 0.4, third mode is 0 0.3, and so on. So if we want to see the contribution uh, of each modes or which mode activates most masses, we can click on this tab which says effective modal mass factors you can see that the first mode contributes uh, uh, almost 0.8 and then uh, the second mode also contributes uh, almost a value of 0 0.83 which means that the most dominant modes are the first two so the remaining analysis were done in case we are not aware of the shape of the string case we are not aware of the behavior of a particular structure we can go check higher modes but in this case we see that the first two modes have uh, been effective are the most effective ones so uh, now we need to <coughs> go into dynam pro again to generate the loads this time around we need to change it to 2 because the first two are active uh, we can also change it later on let's keep it as 10 and can, I can show you how to change it later on click on general click on response spectrum analysis go into response spectra this is where we specify some input uh, from uh, based on several codes for example, I'm going to use SPC301. And here we have uh, to enter the category of the structure, which is 2. The site class as, let's say, C. This SS and S1 is available in the manual. And we need to enter the value. Uh, th this depends upon the site of the structure, site of, where of, site of uh, 
consideration where we're going to build a structure for example let's take 40 and 16 these values are automatically generated the response modification factor r for concrete structure we discussed earlier that it is 8 uh, so click uh, okay now go into dynamic load cases we have equivalent force analysis you have to tick all these three then we have to go into mode shapes we saw earlier that uh, only the first two modes contribute uh, most masses for the analysis so we can untick some of them for example the less significant ones can be unticked so that it does not appear in the load as a as a load case click on ok and calculate software does the analysis now we can click on calculate calculate all so as to and do the analysis this might take a while now that the analysis is done we can take a look at the loads that have the, the results on the structures when you look on the structure when you look in when you click on the drop down menu we see the action uh, the effect due to the self weight effect due to the superimposed dead load this is due to the uh, first mode this is due to uh, in, um, the first mode in the y direction this is due to the second mode in the x direction uh, x direction due to second mode in the y direction and in the z direction and these are some combinations Uh, so this is how we apply seismic load on structures in Delubil.